Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be how to make a fall DIY, which is so simple to make. When I think about fall, I'm always thinking about things that I'm thankful for. So we're going to make this Count Your Blessings wall art. It is so simple. I saw it on Pinterest. I decided to recreate it to fit my color scheme in my house. So of course I'm doing black, white, and gold because that's just life for me. But you guys could do it whatever colors fit you. You could do it in fall colors if you like. I actually upcycled something that I already had and only a few other things were needed to make this. So simple, so easy. So if you guys wanna see how I made it, then just keep watching. So you're first going to need a background image or graphic and I found this gorgeous background from graphicstock.com and they are an online site that allows you to use royalty free backgrounds, pictures, and clip art for your own personal use. They are amazing if you're a DIYer or a YouTuber, you have to check them out. They have tons of different ones and it's easy to download. They are actually giving you a 7 day free trial today so if you want to check it out, click on the screen. So after you choose the image that you want, you're going to want to get Mod Podge and a pair of scissors so that you can apply it to the surface. You could use an old picture frame, you could use a canvas, you could use whatever you wanted. I found this old picture in the trash so I took it out and I'm going to be using that. I just peeled the picture right off the front and I'm going to be applying the Mod Podge to the back of it and laying the paper down. What I learned from using the Mod Podge this way was you really want to use a super thin coat. I actually used too much and you can see little bubbles in my paper and that doesn't look that great but the picture does actually cover it up so really try to take your time, apply a thin layer and work from the middle and go outwards and that's really about it. Um, you're just going to do that for all of the paper and lay it all down and make sure that it's sticking completely to the surface. So this middle sheet of paper was the trickiest because it had so much Mod Podge on it and it was a couple layers. So you can see a lot of ripples in it, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to be using this ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be going around the outside of it as a sort of border. So you're going to measure it all out and then Mod Podge that down as well. So now you're going to want to pick the pictures that you want to use, get them printed out, and if you're giving this as a gift, you can apply little tiny clothespins and have the person that you're giving it to put their own pictures, and that looks really cute too. I'm just going to Mod Podge my pictures down. It helps the pictures be really flat without any bumps. If you hot glue it, it does make it stick up a little bit, so I chose to Mod Podge it. You can hot glue it if you want to as well. So now it's time to add the letters and this is just a personal preference what you want to do. I decided to go for these white stickers that I got from Michaels. I really like the font of them and there was just enough in one package. They were about $2.50 and I think that they turned out really nicely. I also did get an acrylic pen but it did not show up that bright on the paper. If you have nice handwriting, you could use a Sharpie marker or you could even just print it off of your computers, the font that you wanted to do as well. So whatever you choose to do, you're just going to lay that down. I tried to make sure it was as straight as possible because I swear every time I do a DIY that includes writing, it's always slanted. So I use this piece of paper to try to guide my way and I'm just doing it slowly so that I'm not messing it up completely. So this is the finished product and yes my G is upside down I totally screwed that up but no worries I ended up fixing it this is how it looks up on the wall and I think that it looks so perfect and it fits in with my decor it really shares the whole meaning of fall and Thanksgiving by counting your own blessings and not anybody else's being grateful for what you have this is probably one of my favorite DIYs that I've done so far on my channel. If you guys like it, please give it a thumbs up. It would help me out and I would appreciate it so very much. You guys could do this to your own and customize it to your own color scheme, to your own liking. Graphicstock.com has so many different backgrounds. The options are totally endless. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it and love the way that it turned out. Check out graphicstock.com. Go get you the seven day trial because you will be using it like crazy. I surely have. Thank you to them for sponsoring this video. If you guys aren't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because it'll make me happy. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.